rode it down here with nothing in it and it took the, uh, the city bumps really well. Uh, no problems with that. Um, I just went to the, to the supermarket and I just loaded it up with about, um, I would say fif maybe 15 pounds, 20 pounds of, uh, of some food in the back. And now I'm heading back, uh, back home and so far it's been great. I, you know, I don't even really feel it that much uh, pulling. I haven't gone any up, gone up any steep hills yet, but I will be. So I'll let you know how that goes and sort of uh, what happens. But it's pretty, uh, it's pretty great so far. I'll do a more in-depth video um, of this when I get back, but I'll just show you basically what it looks like. So it's a big, big bag on the bottom, smaller laptop bag on the top. It's got a couple wheels that attaches via this handy dandy thing. This thing collapses. Yeah, this thing collapses, so you can carry it into the grocery store and uh, do your shopping. And it also collapses uh, a couple other ways, but I'll show you that later on. All right, peace out. Okay, so I just made it home. Now, what I wanted to check was uh, to see if the stuff I brought home made it okay. Now, I had bananas in here. I used that as a nice test. So, let's see how the... Yeah, I guess I got some cucumbers here. What did I end up buying? I bought six cucumbers. Two, four, six. These are always on sale, so it's good. Okay, here come here come the bananas. Uh, look pretty good to me. Let's see. See the other one? Okay, look pretty good. And uh Apples. Um, yeah, it looks okay. I mean, it was it was uh, pretty well. It was a lot more bumpy on the way back because I had weight and I had to uh, have some coconuts in here too. So actually, this bag that it comes with on the bottom is uh, is really big. I mean, it holds a lot. I was able to get three co three coconuts, a bag of apples, two bunches of bananas, six cucumbers in there, like no problem. I probably filled out filled about a third of it um but anyways yeah on the ride back yeah i could feel a little bit of weight uh being pulled as i was uh you know especially going up hills and going over little bumps you get that initial little jerk as the weight shifts up and then back down but honestly uh no big deal it was great actually um i actually passed by a bike rider that had like a knapsack on one bag over the shoulder bar here a handlebar here one bag over the handlebar there and she's like struggling to keep and I'm just like I just flew right by her and I'm just like yeah that's that's also dangerous you know to uh riding like that in the city but anyways that's cool so I'll do I'm still gonna do an in-depth for you guys on this thing uh with my better camera so hopefully I'll do that tonight and uh, post it okay peace Okay, hey everybody, so as promised, a uh, quick uh, review of this uh, Burley Travoy um, sort of like trailer um, grocery cart carrier. Anyways, so quickly, because I know these videos uh, won't take so long, but it's got one big, one large sort of grocery bag here that straps on using these two four actually, it's four things on the side, and that bag is, can come out, and you can hold it here, or there's also, actually no, this one's no, this one you can just sort of hold like that, okay, so that's good, really big bag, do a lot of groceries in here, uh, as on my previous video you saw that I packed you know, a good 20 pounds in there and it was great, and then you got, I got the optional laptop bag, this doesn't, this doesn't come with it, um, it's just the big grocery bag does, but I option to get the laptop bag um, for obviously laptops and gadgets and you know some business stuff, pens, papers, things like that. So that this also comes off. This also has a strap, so you can strap it to your shoulder or whatnot. So that's really good too. I also put my lock in here, things like that, water bottle, stuff like that. And uh, last but not least, this is the carrier itself. So um, it's basically like a little dolly. The maximum weight on this carry weight is, I believe, 60 pounds. So not that much. You know, you're not going to want to carry, you know, reams of stuff. But groceries, laptops, you know, day-to-day -day stuff is good. 
Uh, it's got a little kickstand here so it sits nicely on the ground by itself. And if you spin it around, this hitch, um, sorry, this thing here, you twist this. I'm still getting used to it myself. You twist this, and this is what hooks into the bike just like that. And that's what it kind of looks. And it sits about at a 45 degree angle right to the bike. And uh, seems to work really well. It is mostly plastic. Um, and some, I don't know what this is, if it's aluminum, welded aluminum or something. Um, so again, you go into the grocery store, put that down, carry that with you, put your groceries in. Then you have the option of twisting this down as well. Um, and you also have the option of, obviously the wheels, the wheels is just a push and the wheels come out. Uh, just to push, sorry, the push and that wheel comes out. And then you also have the option of, if you really want to, closing this off here. So you could just, you could uh, just close that as well. And the kickstand can also be folded down like that. And you can pack it up and do whatever you like. So it's pretty good. Uh, this is exactly what I needed. I'm really happy I got it. Um, I haven't noticed, I mean, when I was carrying the 20, actually it was more than 20 pounds because I had the lock and stuff and some water in the top. So maybe I had about 25 pounds uh, and I carried it about, geez, I don't know, about total round trip, maybe like, five kilometers, six kilometers, something like that. Let's flip this back up. Let's put this bag back on. Let's put the bottom bag on first. Let's get these little clip things. I clip them to the side. Pretty sturdy. I didn't have any issues uh, bringing anything back. I didn't feel off balance uh, to any real degree. And I was going over some really bumpy terrain. So, so far, so good, I think. It's got Velcro there to close it up. Let's put the top on here. Why did I choose this one over just a regular tr traditional trailer? Um, basically because A, I don't want to leave it with the bike. If I'm going to have a laptop and stuff in here, um, I don't want to leave it with the bike. I want to be able to take it with me. So therefore, I really like this you know, sort of push drag thing that works really well. Um, and I didn't want it to be obtrusive. It's, it's pretty narrow. It's, I don't know, maybe only about a foot and a half wide almost two feet wide. So, you know, you can slip it through the grocery aisles. Um, when you're biking behind you, you don't have to, you know, keep looking back to make sure you're gonna be able to fit through things. Um, it's pretty much the same width as the handlebars. So wherever you're, you're going with the handlebar straight, this is gonna be able to, to go there as well, which is amazing. You don't have to keep looking back and making sure you're, you're gonna fit. Um, the laptop bag was a really good option. You has got some slits here for pens, pencils, uh, business cards, and then it's got a little pocket here. Uh, yeah, little pocket there. I got some some dates in here. <laughs> uh, the lock and the uh, strap. And what is? So I haven't really used a laptop bag. I'm just carrying it for ener for food energy. But yeah, overall really good. Um, really, really, really like it. Only my first time out with it but it did really well. Um, the wheels are good. It's, you know, it doesn't, like I said, it's it's a lot, like, you know, it's, some parts use a lot of plastic, um, but obviously, you know, they want to keep this on the light side. They don't want to keep this on, on the heavy side. So let's see how it endures the summer. I'm really uh, stoked about getting out with it more. So anyways, there's the, uh, there's a review on the Burley Travoy thing. Um, 
if you're looking at picking one up, I would probably suggest it at this point. And uh, this one retailed for $299 Canadian. I know that's a lot. Um, but with the features you get, like the flip cart, and you know, there's no way. Like, I, I could have built something, but it wouldn't have been as versatile as this. So, anyways, peace out, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave some comments below.